Did you know there are three main motion systems when we talk about FFF 3D printers? A Cartesian printer is one each axis is moved independently. All Betzlingers, at least the ones I know of, are Cartesian printers, where the x-axis is moved independently from the y-axis. A Core XY printer is when you have two motors using the same belt system to move your carriage in both the x and y dimension. This means the X and Y are not independent of each other, they use the same motors. The majority of printers that move the build plate up and down in the Z axis are Core XY. For example, something like the X1 Carbon from Bamboo Lab. But there are actually unique printers that do not follow that rule. Something like the Ender 5 is actually a Cartesian printer, even though the build plate moves up and down in the Z axis. This is because the X and Y move independently of each other, even on that Ender 5. Delta printers are the most unique, and they have three vertical arms controlling the print head over a circular stationary bed. This means the build plate doesn't move at all. These printers are very unique, and generally speaking, they have to be much taller than they are wide. The build volume for these printers are not cubes, but rather more like a cone shape. Each system will have their trade-offs. Bed slingers, generally speaking, are going to be less expensive than the other options, which make them a great choice for new people to 3D printing. A major drawback is the bed slinger itself because your print will then wobble in the Y direction the faster you move and the more you accelerate. This can cause a lot of issues when you're printing really thin parts on a bed slinger printer because the wobbling will be caused by swaying that build plate back and forth very quickly. They are also more difficult to enclose because there is more volume being taken up by the build plate having to move all the way back and all the way forward. Core XY printers seem to be the favorite for a lot of makers out there. And one of the reasons is it can allow for a lot faster movements because you're just moving the extruder carriage and not a build plate. They also allow for some sturdy frames. They're pretty easy to enclose and you can stack them on a rack because they don't have to be super tall. That leads into a drawback of a Delta printer. In order to get larger XY dimension build volume, you're going to need a taller printer. That makes these very difficult to stack and very difficult to enclose. That said, generally speaking, these printers can print the fastest with the fastest ac accelerations. The, they're normally set up in a Bowden fashion where the extruder is on the printer frame. And then the motion system itself allows for very quick movements. Each system has their own pros and cons, which is your personal favorite to print with. But did you know there are three main different motion systems for FFF 3D printing? The more you know.